what's up i am danielle welcome to today's video we are about to get into a grocery haul today i went to aldi and walmart and i'm gonna share with you guys what i got for my family of four i really went with intentions intentions of getting um things for my kids lunches and snacks they have been in school for three weeks so we have went through majority of the meals and snacks they really like to eat so i wanted to check aldi to see if i could find cheaper alternatives because we, as we know every time we go to the store the prices just keep going up and up and aldi is very good on their pricing i do not shop there often though you guys so i only got 65 dollars worth of stuff which is not a lot but I wanted just to see what I could find that I think my kids might eat that won't be a waste of money. I don't want to try too many new things and they don't like it. So I'm going to show you what we got. And then while we were at Walmart today, we picked up a few things. Not really much. I did place a Walmart grocery pickup, which I might include in this video or I might just do separately in my next vlog. We shall see. But if you want to see what I got and you are not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys do enjoy this haul, hit the like button at the end so I can continue to do more of these. But let's go ahead and get right into the haul. Okay, so in this bag over here, guys, we're going to skip this. I'll show you at the end. These are the clothing items we went to Walmart to get. The weather is slowly starting to change, and Lily, my second grader, needed some sweats. So I actually picked up her NJ some um, just so we can have them ready for when the weather starts to change. I did go let's do it over here we went to Walmart first so from Walmart I just got one box of Kleenex because Jace has come home with like allergies slash the little sick bug kids get from going to school he is my kindergartner so he is new to you know the different germs so I picked up a box of Kleenex so we've been going through these like crazy and then I got some paper towels and I got some toilet paper I also got this um, laundry sanitizer to wash their sheets in, their um, covers, their blankets, and their jackets that they wear to school day, like their little hoodie and blue jean jacket, just to try to get rid of any extra germs that are in the house to hopefully combat his little cold. And then I got some disinfecting wipes. I also got some Oreos, Halloween ones, boo theme, because I wanted to add these to their lunch or for them to take the snacks sometimes, put them in a little Ziploc bag. They could take like three to four for snack time or put like one or two in their bento lunch box. So I thought these were cute since fall is upon us. And then I picked up some medicine just because you never can have too much cold medicine at this time. Last year I was caught off guard. I went to like three stores and they were like out of all cold medicine. And this time was no different. They were almost out, but I picked up this multi-symptom cold medicine for four and up just to have um, for when we need it I got the kids some more vitamins I got some ibuprofen for the kids and I got these vitamin C drops my kids love to suck on cough drops mainly Jay's every night before he goes to sleep so I got him these vitamin C drops instead of cough drops that way Hopefully it'll help build his little immune system. And Lily likes these. She really doesn't like regular cough drops. So got a bag of these. And then everything else is from Aldi, you guys. So like I said, I stuck to the basics. Didn't want to get anything crazy that I don't know if my kids will eat. I got these pickles for me. If you guys do not know, I am pregnant with my third child. And I am not the best. Or I'm not really a pickle lover. But I've been really wanting pickles lately. So definitely got these for me I got a thing of bacon one thing of corn my kid well my second grader is toothless so one thing of corn is good enough for our family of four because we will probably eat she probably won't even be able to eat any because she is missing a lot of teeth um, and then I got one thing of salmon I only got one just because Derek is not like a huge fish eater and I only can eat, you know, 12 ounces of fish each week. So I'm just going to split this in half and we'll have this for dinner one night, me and Derek. I got the kids these mandarin, they call them 
Mandy's, I guess, at Aldi. But they're mandarin oranges from Aldi. I got a thing of bagels. Got some spinach for my breakfast. I love having spinach with my eggs. I got these peanut butter candy cookies. We all love these. So I got these. These have definitely gone up in price. They were like close to $5 for something. I can't remember exactly. But we do really like these. Um, I got this onion powder because I'm out. And I don't know how it, how their onion powder or seasonings taste. But I wanted to give it a try. So I got onion powder and garlic powder. They were only $0.97 cents each. I got some honey. I like to have this on my oatmeal in the morning. I only got two apples because they literally had four left of these. Um, what kind is this? I think it's the honey crispy. They only had four left by the time we got there. And I like the way the other two look. So I'm going to get more at my Walmart grocery pickup. But yeah, I got some peppers for Liliana's lunch. She likes me to slice them up and she'll eat them raw. So I'm going to um, give those to her for lunch next week. We got a box of s'mores, um, Pop-Tarts. They've never had this. So this is a new one they wanted to try. So let them try something new. Jace devours waffles. We typically get the Pillsbury Doughboy buttermilk waffles. But I have bought these from Aldi in the past and he has eaten them. He has not complained. So I got two boxes of these because these are about, I would say 50 cents cheaper than the Pillsbury Doughboy waffles. So these are a win in our house so far. I got some tomatoes for them to have for lunch as well. I'm gonna do a pasta salad for them this week. Jace asked for some ice cream cones to eat ice cream with. And then I got some regular bread to make sandwiches. I got two bags of pretzels. Lily picked out the regular shaped ones and then the sticks. And I also got these sweet Hawaiian rolls from Aldi, I'm going to make her little turkey sandwiches on here, like split them in half, do a ranch, cheese, and turkey, and maybe tomatoes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do tomatoes, but I'm going to use these to make her sandwiches next week to see how she likes it. I think she'll like it a lot, a lot better than regular bread. And then last but not least, I got some brown sugar. I need this to make a TikTok meal, breakfast meal I saw. I'm going to share with you guys in my next vlog. So look forward to that. And okay. So that's all the groceries I got. I want to share with you guys what I got for the kids as far as clothing from Walmart. They really did not have as much as I was expecting them to have. Um, it's still hot here. It's like 86 every day. But in the mornings when we get up early to go to school, it has been 63. And it still feels good out. They just put like a little hoodie or blue jean jacket on. They still wear shorts and all that. But I know the weather is going to change very soon. So Jace already has a few fall outfits. Lily really has one pair of jeans no long sleeves and that's so we need to do some shopping for her she loves to be comfortable in the winter so she likes to wear like leggings and like sweat outfits so we do have leggings so we didn't focus on leggings this time we were just looking for sweats and my child likes to wear black i don't know why she's obsessed with black but she is so she picked out some black sweatpants from walmart we got a size medium these were only 6.98 and they had a matching sweatshirt. So she just got the matching little black sweatshirt or sweat outfit. I think she thinks she's like a chic little teenager or something. So that's what she picked out. She also picked out one of these little sequence tops. You know, it changes and it says make our or make your own magic. And it has a different like moon phases on the sleeve. So this was cute. This was $8.48. or eight forty eight. And then she's been wanting some black jeans. So we got her these jeggings. They just stretch on, no buttons, which is awesome because she is working on trying to figure out how to um, snap or actually close like real buttons. She's used to the fake snap buttons. And like I said, she doesn't really wear too many jeans anyway. So she's working on figuring out how to put jeans on that have a real jean button. So anyways, we got these because there's no button. And these were only... I think these are ten dollars. I don't see the price on here. I'm pretty sure these were ten dollars. And then they had these really cute sweat outfits, but they had no seven eight in the color hoodie she wanted to go with this. So I'm gonna order it 
online for her but she picked out these two-tone sweatpants the hoodie is a light pink and the sleeves are like this color pink so um we're gonna look for that hopefully we can find it the pants were 9.98 and the hoodie that matches this is also 9.98 and this came in like three or four colors i think it was four colors for jay's i just got him this sage like green sweat outfit thought this was super cute i actually just looked in the big boy area for him because the big boy area has cuter stuff in the boys toddler section so i got him the extra small four or five those were only 6.98 just like lily's and he got a matching sweatshirt as well and he also got this little outfit this little angry monster and lily thought this was perfect for him because jace is in that phase where he's like i'm mad at you if you don't agree with him or you get after him he always says i'm mad at you so we got him this little hoodie it has the pocket here for the hoodie part and it's just super cute this was 15 dollars. i'm like 15 dollars for a walmart hoodie i don't know but it's pretty soft it's the um 365 kids from Granimals. It's the first time I've seen this tab for, from Granimals, like 365. It might just be for the bigger kids' clothes. I'm not sure. But that, and then we got him some sweatpants that match it. They're just gray and white on the side. Black little sweatpants. And these were only $6. Well, $7. So that's it. But I did find JC's really cute Spider Man sweatpants at Berlin or at Marshall's yesterday. So. These were really cute. I think he'll like wearing these. These were super cheap from Marshalls, $13 for the two pair. And that's it guys. I know I showed you stuff that had nothing to do with Aldi or kids lunches, but I did want to share with you the few things we got as far as clothing items go because the weather is changing very soon and you guys might want to get your little ones some sweats while they're still out. I'm going to be going to Target hoping next week that they have more options out before the weather actually changes so they can be warm before all that happens but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and you guys i will see you in the next one bye